some little facts about Scotland. I know that a lot of you would like to come here and visit some of our beautiful scenery, etc. So I've got a few places that I'd like to talk about while I'm doing your makeup, if that's okay. Right, so just sit back and relax. The first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is wipe your face down. I'd like to talk about is an island. This island is called the Isle of Iona. I'm going to show you it just now. My goodness. Didn't they beaches look as if they were from some kind of Caribbean island? It's hard to believe that those white beaches are actually in an island in Scotland. The water will be freezing though. And a few wee things about the island. Yeah, there's a wee bit that there's a magical gate at one of the points. And when you go through this kind of magical gate, you end up in that little cove that you've seen. And either side of the cove is a steep hill, like rocks. Okay, and I'm just going <coughs> to freshen your face with this pineapple. Yes, it's got steep rocks at either side of that little cove and it makes it a little sun trap. As I say, it looks beautiful that beach but it will be freezing, trust me. It will be really, really cold. So beautiful though, those beaches. And I'm going to prime your face. I'm going to use a spray primer. Today I'm using Tasty Peach um, Primer. So to get there you would need to go by Fairy. And the fairies here are called Kalmak Fairies and they take you to the little islands. I've got another island I want to talk about, but not right now. Right now I want to talk about Ben Nevis. I'm going to show you a picture of Ben Nevis just now. Very beautiful, isn't it? Okay, and I'm going to apply this with a brush. Scoosh, scoosh, scoosh. So Ben Nevis gets around a hundred thousand visitors a year. Everybody wants to climb it. It is 
1,345 metres above sea level. So that's pretty high. It stands at the western end of the Grampian Mountains. And this is, I never knew this, but the summit of Ben Nevis is actually a collapsed volcano. <laughs> so there you go, a volcano. A collapsed volcano, my goodness. But a lot of people go there to climb. You really have to have experience and have the right kind of clothing, footwear, etc. to climb Ben Nevis. But all around Ben Nevis area is other beautiful mountains. Really, really scenic. Can I take your breath away, you know? The only thing is, you don't get any phone service. Your phone service is terrible. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go into powder. Using this one today. Radiance powder. And it has a little puff inside. Up at Ben Nevis, well, not far away, there's a place called Aviemore. And I've been there. And that's very beautiful. A lot of people go skiing in Aviemore. And you can get to see all the mountains and things like that. There was a cable car that took us up the mountain. I'll tell you a true story. We went on this cake, it was a beautiful day, right? A beautiful day. And we all had our shorts and t-shirts on. And we went this cable car right up the mountain. I don't know how long it took us to get up there, a wee while. A wee while to get to the top. See when we got to the top, it was snowing. <laughs> Everybody had their, you know, outdoor skiing gear on. And there, me and my family standing with our shorts and t-shirts. So what we done, we was about turned, went back in and went down the mountain. So always be prepared with your clothing. If you're doing that kind of thing. There's also a thing called the West Highland Way. And it starts off in Milgai in Glasgow and it goes up the mountains right round Loch Lomond all the way to Ben Nevis or Fort William I think it's called and people do that every year people do that a lot of people do it for charity so they'll do the West Highland way they call it and they do that walk for charities and it takes about four days, three days, four days to complete this journey so you've got to stop off and camp at places right, let me do your powder okay, now the palette today is this one, it's a lovely one and it's a unicorn palette by Revolution I love the colours in here the pastel kind of colours. So I think I'm going to go with these three for you today. Some nice pastel look. Right, good. Now the next place I want to talk about is my favourite place. I'm starting off with this one here. I'm getting all over your eye with this. Now the Ebb of Butte 
is in the fifth of Clyde and it's got the most amazing castle in it but I'll, I'm going to show you these pictures of that right now that's my favourite place the Isle of Butte now you can basically drive round to Hold Island in about half an hour it takes you as you drove the whole island and it's the most beautiful scenic place I used to go there every year we would go down the water or down the water as we say in Glasgow and use this nice pink now I'm going to do a halo eye so this is going to either side and I'm leaving the bit in the middle yeah you would go down the water your mum and dad in the summer. It used to be really crowded but there's really not much to do on Isla Butte. But I always found that was a nice thing because we would play in the sand and we would, there's a beautiful castle. Now the castle as you've seen there in the pictures has got a moat around it. Right now I'm going into this one here and I'm going to put that in the middle. It's got a moat round it and it's got a drawbridge and there's something just really really romantic about that. I don't know, you can go in, you can go into the castle, in fact I had a traumatic experience in the castle I'll tell you about. We were in the castle <coughs> having a wee tour, okay, just looking about and stuff and I'm terrified of wasps, I'm terrified of and there was this set of stairs that you had to go down and I was trying to go down it but there was a window ledge next to these stairs and there was a fight between a wasp and a spider going on and the poor spider was getting stung with the wasp and I like spiders you know what I mean, I like spiders, spiders are nice, spiders are your friends and this wasp was stinging hell with a spider to this day I can't even think, see when I think of Rossi Castle, that's what I think of. <laughs> it was terrible, it was a traumatic event for me. Um, and there's a most beautiful beach on Rossi, let me do your eyeliner, and it's called um, Ettrick Bay. Now on Ettrick Bay you can stand on the sand and look over the water to the Isle of Arran, which is another beautiful island. And it looks like sleeping giants. That's the way that the mountain is, if it was two giants lying head to head, called the sleeping giants. And it's the most beautiful beach, I love it. So I'm going to use this True Feast eyeliner. I'm going to be very gentle, just pull your eye down. So that is my most favourite place to go in Scotland. Now I'm going to ask you to close your eye. I'm going to bring this all the way across and give you a wing. Close your eye. <coughs> Excuse me. Sweep. Close your eye. Sweep. Close your eye. Sweep. Now the other one. And close your eyes. Sweep. Perfect. I've done it good that time. So that's the Isle of Butte. Now I've got a few other places I'd like to talk about. Right, what am I doing now? I'm doing a mascara. We're using this one today by Maybelline. I have to talk about Edinburgh. Edinburgh is your capital. That's the capital of Scotland is Edinburgh. And it has our old medieval town looming over the city as the Edinburgh Castle, home to Scotland's crown jewels. Did you know Scotland had crown jewels? And also is home to the Stone of Destiny. Now the Stone of Destiny was where um, in the past our kings and queens would be coronated 
on this stone of destiny. And that is in Edinburgh Castle. I'll show you some pictures. Isn't it lovely? Very historical. So right next to Edinburgh Castle there's a kind of a mountain. Is this a mountain or a hill? I'm not sure. But it's called Ather's Seat. And it's called Ather's Seat and it's really, really flat like that. And it's right next to Edinburgh Castle. And you can go picnics and things there so you can in the summertime. And down below Edinburgh Castle you've got lovely gardens. There's always a clock um, that's made with flowers. Every time I've went they've got a clock and it's like flowers all around it and you can just sit there and look up at the castle. Right, so now I'm going to do blusher. I'm going to use this brush. This is by Revolution. <coughs> They've also got trams now in Edinburgh. I've never been on one yet. I've never been on a tram. Oh, I'm using this blusher. By Makeup Academy. I've never been on a tram. But I would really like to go on a tram one day. But there's an awful lot of history in Edinburgh. The only thing is, it's a bit pricey, I think. You know, it's, it's the prices for the tourists and it's a lot of money, do you know what I mean? But apart from that, I think I've said about, I've talked about Edinburgh, so I've got to talk about my city and that is Glasgow. That's where I was born and grew up in Glasgow and it's obviously on the River Clyde. And it's got Victorian and Art Nouveau architecture. Yeah, it's got a lot of that. Of course, it's home to Scottish Blueberry. And the thing about Glasgow, there's a sign that it's true. And it says, eh, people make Glasgow. Now, I've spoken about this quite a lot. And I don't know why this is. It's just strange to me. The people of Glasgow, if you're a tourist, would welcome you into their home. Come into our home, sit down, I'll make you a cup of tea. Really, really nice, but see to your own. Sometimes we can be right nasty, and I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's just been Scottish or, or what, but we're kinder to tourists than we are to people. Well, I try to be nice to everyone, even like check-out operators and things like that. I always say, I hope you're having a nice day, stuff like that, and a wee bit more blush. And, did I show you the pictures? Here's the pictures. Now, that bridge that you just seen is called the Squinty Bridge, and it kind of goes over the arc goes over like squinty, that's what it's called the squinty bridge and it goes over the river Clyde I don't think Glasgow is as expensive as Edinburgh Edinburgh seems to be more expensive than Glasgow right, that's that and now I'm going to do your highlighter I'm going to use this highlighter the cheese highlighter. It's like a slice of cheese. Okay, let's see what I'm going to put on you. I think this one today. So there's a lot of different cultures, food, everything like that in Glasgow. Right, I'm just going to get a wee bit here like this first and then sweep it up, sweep it up, sweep it up and then a wee bit here and sweep it up, sweep it up, sweep it up, sweep it up. Down your 
Lewis. I'm going to put two treatments on your lips. First is this one, it's the Cheeks Lip Balm. It's so cute. Let me show you this. Look how cute that is. It smells like strawberries. Putting this on your lips. Okay. Now, the last place I would like to talk about is air. I'm going to put some pictures here. Lovely. Now, did you see that cottage? That is the cottage of Robert Burns. Robert Burns was, was born in that cottage. Now, let me get your lipstick on. Hmm. And, uh, you know, I've not done your eyebrows, I'll do them in a minute. <coughs> Robert Burns was born on the 25th of January, 1759. I think I'll put this one on you. 1759. And it's a two-room thatched cottage that you just seen. It was made with clay. And do you know, it was actually Robert Burns' dad that built that cottage. Now, if you didn't know, I talk about it, but Robert Burns was quite a man with the ladies, so he was. I don't know if it's just because he wrote all that beautiful poetry that he managed to snag all these gorgeous ladies. But he was, he was a bit of a ladies' man, is it called? Got your eyebrows, let me just tidy them up a bit more. So that's a beautiful, that's an Ayrshire. Ayrshire, there's also, there's also a little road that is an optical illusion, is called, and it's called the Electric Brie. And you pour water on this hill and it runs up it. It's a, it's a strange, a strange hill, but I remember as a child um, on school trips stopping there so we could pour water on this hill and watch it trickle up the way. It was just strange. But air also has the most beautiful beach. Alright, so I'm going to give you some body spray and then some perfume. So this is Ted Baker. And Vera Wang. Sorry, my voice is a bit croaky today. This is Princess. Air is beautiful also. I will have to take you there one day. Well, thank you so much for coming in and getting your makeup done. And I hope you liked our little conversations about interesting places should you come to Scotland. If you do and you go to these places, please show me pictures and tell me how you got on. So have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you again next time.